I'm Thomas Carruthers. I'm a Vice President for Studies at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace in Washington, D.C. I also run a program called the Democracy and Rule of Law Program. It's a program which is practically focused. I do a lot of specific looking at the activities of international actors, but also has a foot in the academic world. I was trained in law at Harvard Law School, and at Harvard we were taught the Socratic way. And I've tried to use a kind of modified Socratic method in the classroom. I don't lecture. I walk in the first day and I tell the students that most of the knowledge that I'm going to try to bring out is already in their heads and it's up to me to bring it out, to organize it, to share it, and try to work with that. So for example, if we take a subject like civil society assistance, we start with, well, what is civil society? Do we actually have a shared definition in this room? You're from Nigeria, you're from Brazil, you're from Russia. Let's talk about what you think civil society is and let's talk about some of the standard definitions. Now what are some of the weaknesses? What are some of the strengths? And then of course how can we improve it? What's the way forward? It leads to a kind of a journey during the class that we take that gives students an overall introduction to the field but also a fair amount of practical knowledge about what's going on and how they may take part in it. Policy is the, in a sense, it's what's on the menu today in the world. I mean, a lot of people of the, the younger generation between 20 and 40 are very alienated from traditional politics. They don't want to be part of political parties. And so policy studies have really, I think, arrived in this generation as the domain in which many students who want to make a difference in the world but are suspicious of political life engage. And I think that's a good thing because at its best, it's not always at its best, but it, at its best, the domain of policy study is something that's both practical and conceptual at the same time that brings you to problems but allows you to go deep within them. I like teaching at CU and I'm really looking forward to teaching in the School of Public Policy. What I like teaching about CU is that it's an unusual classroom environment in that you don't have most of the students just from one country and one framework of assumptions and I really use the global nature of the students I think to some good advantage in the classroom. Another thing I like about CEU is that it's a relatively young university and of course its location. Being in Budapest it's in the heart of Europe and in a sense you're living in a city which is right you know at the forefront of many of the questions that you're studying in the classroom. And so I think the school, school of Public Policy is going to embody these different features of CEU that I've enjoyed over the years, the global nature of the students, the sort of fresh spirit, and the location, and I think it's going to make it an exciting place for, for students to